Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a spend the weekend with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. So it's Saturday morning. I just got up about half an hour ago. Um, I'm heading out because I want to go to a couple of shops, get a few little bits and pieces and you know it's nice to get a bit of fresh air first thing in the morning and a bit of exercise uh, so yeah that's that um i'm still quite tired i didn't have the best of sleeps uh, my sinuses are really really bad at the moment um my head's quite like uncomfortable my ears are hurting me as well and i just feel a bit like ooh, a bit woozy off balance um Part of me thinks I should have just stayed in bed and not done anything today. <laughs> but then I'm like, do you know what? Sometimes going out in the fresh air, walking around and stuff, um, kind of takes my mind off things and can help sometimes. We'll see. Um, is it a bad decision to go out? I don't know. Um, I do have my little, um, my new friend with me. So this is a bit embarrassing, but I have him. I haven't named him yet, actually. He's like all squishy and stuff. Um, basically, I've noticed recently my social anxiety has been quite bad. Um, even going into places like I'm used to going and stuff, I don't know what it is. So anyway, I've got this little sensory toy and if I get anxious when I'm out and about, I'm very going to be obviously discreet, but I'm just going to be like squeezing it a little bit if I get a little bit anxious. So obviously not walking around like this, but I'll just have it in my hand and just kind of very subtly and discreetly squeeze it. But it does help, like these sensory toys do really help if you're feeling anxious and stuff. Um, I don't know why it's so bad at the moment, um, but anyway it is, so I'm thinking well I'm not going to not go out and give in to the anxiety, I'm still going to go out, but having something like a sensory toy or whatever, um, you know, might help me a bit, so anyway, I'm going to go now, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so just got to town and uh, it's already quite busy for this early in the morning, it's still quite busy, so uh, I'm pleased I didn't come out any later, otherwise it would have just been busier. Um, I don't know what they're doing here. Look, this has been going on um, for ages, like even behind me. Like, it's good that they're trying to improve that area, but like literally, <laughs> it must be over a year that this has all been like this. Like this. Um, my little mate's in my hand. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's helping. As I feel myself getting a bit anxious on the way, I was like, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And I felt, oh, a little bit calmer. So there is point to me holding this in my hand um so anyway i'm heading into the victoria plaza which is behind me oh it's very bright and sunny can you see that victoria plaza there we go oh it's really sunny um yeah heading into there because i need boots um i want to get some saline spray hopefully help my my sinuses i'm just gonna put my mask up there we go got one of my paper ones on today all right in we go I haven't been a new look for ages into boots I'm not buying any nails but I just wanted to have a little look see what ones they have I love wearing like false nails I like the point on those ones pretty cool different way of doing like a French manicure isn't it but anyway and this is what I'm after clears and cleanses nasal spray in the pound land we go it's a really cute tissue box i don't actually need tissues because we've got some but i just wanted to show you this cute box lovely isn't it Okay, so I just got to the range. You're probably thinking, why am I coming to the range? Well, I need, and I know they do them, well, they used to do them, a rock painting kit. Yeah, it's a bit random. I'll explain more when I get home. But uh, yeah, I want a rock painting kit, and they used to have one. So we'll see if they have one. Got all the Easter stuff out now already. <laughs> just felt like five minutes ago it was Christmas. <laughs> now all the Easter stuff's out. What? Oh wow, I love that. I love looking around at stuff in here. Everything's just so nice. 
I don't know if uh, Pippa's watching this, Worm's Eye View, but that kind of gives me vibes of you. It's uh, 10.99, there you go, Pippa. And there's a little holiday fund one and a small one. Oh no, that's the same thing, sorry. They're both holiday fund ones. I love all the like nautical stuffs. Oh wow, look, coral effect ornament. That's pretty cool. It's weird, but I like it. The boat shelf. Some uh, some gonks there out and about. Ooh, I love those, angel wings. And there's some uh, shiny gonks over here. A blush gonk, apparently. They do some really nice artwork in here as well. Um, I think it's one or two, I can't remember, but we have got some pictures on our wall from in here. Oh, I love that one. This is so nice. And that's pretty funky. Right, so this is a sort of area. Ah, hold on. No, I don't want that one. Oh, hold on, what's this? Okay, okay, I could work with this. I'm gonna do my own designs, obviously, but I could do a few of these actually, they're quite nice. Six quid. You do get quite a lot in there though, which is good, and you get the rocks obviously as well. Oh, there's this, metallic rock painting oh i like the gold and the silver actually and it's a little bit cheaper oh mine now there's this one as well look dazzling rock painting or this one hide and seek rock painting <laughs> this one's nice i do like the gold and silver metallic stuff but i think i could do more with these colors so and as much as i like this i don't like glitter so that's no good but i do like that design so i'm gonna grab this one i think oh no i've just seen this one as well <laughs> And this one, ah, and this one. I'm just gonna go for this one because it's the cheapest, I think. And it's got all the colours I want, so. Oh, I love that, the lighthouse. That's actually the one we've got in our bedroom, the light shade. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? I don't actually like need any lights or anything. I just like looking around. It's what I do. Well, that's nice. It's very all to me. That just reminds me of a crown. <laughs> oh wow! Look at these. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, there's a massive freaking queue. Like, I'm literally, I don't want to count how many people in this queue. I don't know how many people, but there's a lot of people. Um, maybe there's like one person serving, I don't know. But I've never seen it this bad. And I'm like, should I just leave it? But I really want this. And I need it as well, which, as I say, when I get home, I will explain why I need this. Um, so I'm like, oh, just stay, just okay. stay. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Thought we could walk through the little the little mini garden. It's outside uh, South End Museum. The trees look all bare at the moment. People are sitting here, mainly in the summer. Have their little picnics over there on the little benches and stuff. Or on here, on there. <laughs> it's a nice little circle walk. <laughs> there is something about being around like nature that makes me happy. Like this little thing in the middle of a busy city, you know. All the uh, seashells down there, that, that's pretty cool. So he's on the red man, when he's on the green, we can go. 
Nope, still red. <laughs> it's taking ages. Come on, cars. Well, it's not gone green yet, but there's nothing for ages, so I've crossed. Okay, we're good to go. I don't know why, I just think this is really pretty. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> All the trees just look so sad and bare. Sainsbury's over there. I think I've been a bit stupid. I didn't put a jacket on or a coat and it's starting to get a bit colder. Oopsie! This building is so tall it freaks me out. Look, ready? Oh, oh it just goes on forever. Ooh. I've made a little uh, pigeon friend. Hello. Hello. Oh, come on, come here. <laughs> they always do this. <laughs> they walk away. Walk away, friend. I don't blame you. Oh, you're coming back. Okay. Don't come too close because then I'll freak out. I've actually got a phobia of pigeons. You wouldn't believe it because I'm standing this close. But, oh, 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 I'm going to back up. Um, yeah, my mum's got a phobia of birds and so I grew up with that same phobia. But over the years, I've gotten better. I mean, I could never have stood this close to a pigeon. Oh, as I say that, he's just gone, <laughs> the little heads. I just said that I like you now. No, I like you. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I could never have got that close to a pigeon. But uh, it reminds me of the song by Craig David. I'm walking away. You're walking away. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm a lot, lot better. I can stand near them, I can walk past them. The only thing that still freaks me out with birds is the uh, the flying, flapping thing. You know, when they flap right over your head, that freaks me out. Or next to me, I'm like, ah, and start jumping and screaming. But, uh, you know, at least the phobia has got a bit better over the years because I can be near them as such. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna listen to my friend's messages she's left me we leave each other like little voice notes so i'm gonna listen to her messages as i um walk home which is what i'm doing now obviously but yeah i need to nip in the little corner shop nathan wants an energy drink and when i get in i'm gonna have something to eat because i didn't i just come out so uh not come out i come out years ago <laughs> um, but um yeah no, as i just come out without eating anything so i uh yeah need to uh i don't know what i fancy i might have some bran flakes because they're good for me and some like toast and then yeah nathan should be awake by now i haven't been out too long but i've been out for about an hour or so he likes a lay in. We didn't go to bed till really late last night. It was like three in the morning. Because on the weekends he likes late nights. Well, we both do. Only I wasted my late night because I was meant to read while he was playing his game on the TV downstairs on the Xbox. And because my headache was so horrible, I just fell asleep on the sofa for like two, two and a half hours or something. So I kind of wasted my late night fun. <laughs> but hopefully tonight... Um, be able to stay up a bit later and actually be awake anyway i'm rambling sorry um but yeah i don't know what was going on about yeah nathan should be awake when i get back so after my breakfast i might watch an episode of uh celebs go dating <laughs> i love that show oh, sorry i just had to rub my eye because i felt like there's something in my eye uh apart from my eyeball obviously yeah i might watch an episode of celebs go dating because uh it's so funny. Oh, there's still something in my eye. What is it? Might be like a little eyelash or something. Um, yeah, I mean, they say celebs, but <laughs> basically they should rename it uh, Reality Stars Go Dating because that's mostly who's on at the moment, all the reality ones. But I'm not complaining because uh, 
Miles is on it from Made in Chelsea and even though he's a bit of a cocky one, bit of an arrogant so-and-so, he is still Miles from Chelsea. <laughs> he's, he's quite a dish. But uh, no, it's funny. I like watching people on dates, their reactions and the drama. And Anyway, so mum's gone out shopping with her friend. I don't know where she's gone. Tesco, Asda, I don't know. She's gone somewhere today. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'm going to listen to my friend's messages. I'm so sorry for the rambling. So I'm at home now and I'm just going to do some breakfast. I'm going to have bran flakes and some toast. So I'm having some cranberry juice, but I'm using this one up. I don't like it at all. It's the co-op one. Um, I was in uh, Hamlet Court Road the other day and I went in co-op and I was like, oh, do you know what, I need cranberry. So I got cranberry juice in there and it was just, ugh, it's really bitter and horrible. So I know it's no added sugar, which, all right, it's probably not going to be as sweet as normal, you know, full sugar <laughs> cranberry. But uh, it's, you know, I've had other no added sugar cranberries and they taste better than this. But it is what it is and it is good for me, so I am going to have it, but I'm not going to buy this one again. Okay, so here's my cereal. Nice and warm and squishy. How I like it. I know some people think that's gross, but still, I like it. Um, <laughs> I'm quite sad, actually, because I was going to watch an episode of Celebs Go Dating, but I realised after looking through all the planner and stuff that it's not due on. Like, the next episode is not due on until Monday, so I can't watch that. But I fancy watching something with a bit of romance, so I'm thinking of first dates. No, nope, forward, forward, forward. Want first dates. Okay, so I just had a nice shower. Um, and this is very embarrassing because we're in January. But I'm wearing my Christmas <laughs> pyjama bottoms. <laughs> because they're really cosy and warm and it's freezing. Just put the heat in on as well. So hopefully it'll start warming up the house a bit because it's so cold. But anyway, i um, got a couple of scratch cards here. One for me, one for Nathan. I lost, but... I, I did win, however. Nathan as well. Want to see how much? Yes! You won a fiver? Yeah! Ah, oh, you said top or bottom, I went bottom, and the top one won. Well done. <laughs> um, no, I'm pleased. <laughs> I'm not jealous in the slightest. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a couple of paracetamol because I still feel really groggy. Uh, we just done a lateral flow test just in case. Um, there's nothing wrong with being extra careful and it was clear so that's good so I haven't got anything nasty um, so it looks like it's just my sinuses again um, really quickly I just wanted to show you my current reads yes I've got two books on the go one is an actual book book and the other one is a graphic novel book both books you know what I mean <laughs> so this is The Thicket by Noel W I don't know how to say that Ihill, Ihilly, Ihilly, I don't know, um, which is called cool a Noel. But yeah, this is really creepy. I love the front cover for a start, that creepy forest. And uh, it says here, someone might hear you, no one will listen. This is a horror. Um, I saw this on a girl I follow on Instagram's page and she just said it was really amazing. And I had such difficulty getting it and finally it turned up. Um, so basically, I won't like read all the back to you, but it's about this girl called Nora and her brother has basically asked her to go with him to this like haunted attraction. And it's like a really like haunted cabiny place in the woods and uh, cut long story short, he gets murdered and there is a serial killer on the loose who kind of goes at this haunted attraction. And obviously people are screaming and everyone's like got, you know, gore and stuff over them and everyone thinks it's part of the attraction but it's actually the murderer doing his naughty thing um and then yeah other murders start happening and stuff so yeah it's a YA thriller horror and I have to say it's really good I'm really enjoying it I haven't read a good old horror for ages so yeah super enjoying this I need to charge my phone so I'll have to tell you about this one really quick and this is a graphic novel called The Sad Ghost Club Find Your Kindred Spirits uh this is by Lizy Meddings I think that is I love the cover and I love the title uh so the artwork is a bit like this it's very kind of you know easy to follow not much 
like words it's mainly pictures kind of graphic novel which is you know really easy and quick to read so it's about these ghosts and they have like anxiety and social anxiety and things like that it is a bit weird um i was actually going to buy that book ages ago but i managed to get it from the library for free so that's good um but yes yeah, so i'm just kind of flicking through this a little bit at a time and this is my main book so i'm going to do a little bit of reading now for a little while and just kind of relax and chill for a little while um so i'll see you in a bit nathan is playing his space game do you want the curtain shut because it's a bit there we go that's better you should have asked me the the oh no it's the it's the sun i thought that was the reflection the of our light no it's a star what, that in the middle? That's a star, yeah. I'm heading towards oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's our light. Right in the middle at the top is the reflection of our light. No, that big yellow thing. No, the big round thing at the top in the middle. That's our light oh, reflecting. Can you not? No. Well, on the screen you can, and I can. It's that up there. That's the sun. Is that the sun? Not our sun. It's the no. Star. Then the... <laughs> Well, at least it looks for me like there's another planet right in the middle, but it's actually our light shade reflecting. But anyway, so yeah, he's playing this game. Um, he really likes it. It's pretty cool graphics. It does really look like you're in space and all the little control pad things. Pretty cool. I like that. Look at that. Ooh, doing a little tour. I love them when they have the like magical screens that come up. Pop -up yeah. It is good. Apparently, I fell asleep. Well, I know I fell asleep on the sofa last night, but apparently I woke up mid-sleep and pointed and went, what was it? I love the stars. And then went back to sleep. And then just went back to sleep. That's quite weird, isn't it? But, um, yeah, so he's he's playing that. I just wanted to show you because I think the graphics is just so cool. I love it. And uh, he's a bounty hunter. Is that right? Yes. Bounty hunter. <laughs> Getting all the birdies. I wish I could play games. I'm just... I don't understand. I'm not bad at Mario Kart. <laughs> That's about it. No, I am clean. I had a shower. You're not clean. I am so clean. Do you mean the pirates on the game? Yeah. Okay. He's clean. He's clean. Got to scan them all. So he scans and checks that they're not bad. Is that right? That they ain't been up. Like me. You're going to be a baddie. I'm not a baddie. Oh, them again. No, he's clean as well. Okay. That's can you tell? Yeah, it says whether they're clean or... No, I mean, without you scanning them, no, can you, you tell? Scan them oh, okay. To see if they're wanted for crimes. Okay. He's a federal agent, so he's going to be a good boy. I don't want to make you angry, but I've got my show on tonight, so you're going to have to take your switch down if you're not wanting to watch it. What's that? Mars Singer. Singer. <laughs> I know, you're not keen. But, I don't mind seeing who it is. Yeah, that's about it. But it is my new addiction, so you're going to have to take your switch down or something, or read, or just look at, a, look at a wall or something when it's on. <laughs> take it off. Take it off. Anyway, I'm going to leave him play. Look at that cool. It's just so cool. I love it. It really feels, because our TV is quite big in here as well, it feels like you're on a spaceship. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the Mars Singer. Anyway, I'm going to let him get on. Okay, so a little update on the Sad Ghost Club book that I've been reading. Well, graphic novel. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I had to give it a two star, which is not very good, to be fair. Um, but the weird thing is, when I've gone on Goodreads, there's like five stars, four stars, a few three. Like, is it me? Is it me? Am I the drama? Sound like one of them TikTok things. Um, now, is it me? Like, I'm just not connecting with it at all. Like, I get, I get what it is. I assume that. Well, I think I do. I think they're dressed as ghosts because they feel invisible, right? So I get the reasoning behind it. Um, I think the artwork is pretty like basic. Like some of it is pretty cute. Like that is pretty cute, but some of it is just a bit kind of boring, and. The story was, I don't know, like, I get that they're helping people with anxiety and stuff, which is brilliant, obviously. Um, 
and depression and being able to talk to people like there is a great message behind this book so for that i give it two stars but really i just found it like ugh, this ghost doesn't like going to parties and they well this invisible person ghost kind of anyway they, they, they meet another person who also feels invisible and doesn't like parties but they meet at a party which doesn't make sense because if neither of them like parties why did they both go to a party because they don't like parties <laughs> I just like what but the ending was quite sweet um I won't give it away or anything but I know I have read that the next book there will be another ghost added that I'm not going to carry on with the series obviously but that's what happens so obviously it's, it's good what the message behind it is you know if you're feeling low if you're feeling stressed you're feeling down do you know talk to people and what I like as well at the back there is um a list of all the like resources like help that you can get and I thought that was a really good thing maybe this is aimed more at younger people than me I don't know but look you've got some great charities here Anxiety UK, Childline, uh, Mind, The Mix, Nightline you know so it's just good it is a good theory but for me I just as a book I let's just say I'm pleased I got it from the library if I'm completely honest but anyway um that is one that I've wanted to read for ages. I'm a bit let down by that personally. But anyway, um, so now I'm just going to get on to reading my horror. So, um, yeah, the uh, the thicket. So I'm going to put my phone back on charge and I'm just going to lay back, relax and read. Just doing some YouTube stuff now. YouTube work. Um, I'm uploading a video. Uh, well, doing all the uh, information, like putting all the tags in and links to my other channels and social media and stuff like that. Um, I've just put that picture as the thumbnail. Uh, so that's done. I'm just going to put it public in a moment. Do you like the little book emojis? <laughs> so yeah, this is a little library haul video. Talking about books, I'll quickly show you what page I'm up to. Uh, okay, 101 just about to start chapter 19 in a little bit so yeah it's going good really good book i like it even though it's very dark <laughs> very very dark and so i've got the premiere happening at the moment and on the other window i'm also doing uh, my comments at the same time so i sit and reply to my comments this is on this channel um, and as soon as the video premiere is finished I'll go over to the ASMR channel and do my comments on there and possibly put a video on for tonight or actually no I did one yesterday so no I don't need to do that so it'll just be um, like replying to comments and stuff. Just had something to eat, can you guess what it was? It's mashed potato. <laughs> um, yeah just had a bit of mashed potato and now I have a little mini roll for dessert look at that just so it's so kind of pointless but it's not pointless it's nice and it's yummy and it is a what is it mini rolls raspberry flavor so i'm gonna have that and carry on with some reading i feel really guilty because i've not done any filming today like literally i i, was, I got up and i was like right i'm gonna do some filming today i'm gonna do some filming today haven't done any filming today <laughs> but i think it's because i just feel a bit rubbish and i just think why why should i sit and like ruin my saturday afternoon where i could be relaxing and getting myself better and being lazy or should i just sit and film when i'm not really in the mood for it or like just feel groggy nathan's playing his game i'm reading we're just kind of chilling on a weekend it's nice i don't want to have to start you know getting the camera out and filming <laughs> just being lazy and i but no seriously i do feel groggy so it's like i just i'm not in the mood i do feel bad though because it's another day that i've not filmed uh but hopefully i'll get to do some filming tomorrow i've got very dry lips um in the morning, I think, in the morning, late morning, we're going to watch a film tomorrow morning. We're going to have a, have a cinema Sunday. Cinema Sunday. Cinema, 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 cinema Sunday. Cinema, cinema, cinema. I'll take it that little bit further. Um, we're going to watch Hotel Transylvania, the new one, which is on Amazon. Amazon. So, I'm really looking forward to that. 
I know you're like, mm, it's all right, but I'm really looking forward to it because it's. Oh, I know you are. I do love Hotel Transylvania so much. I think in this one they all become human or something. Yeah, they all transform. Yeah. Transform Hotel Transylvania. That's funny. I wonder what um, Drac will look like because. Probably the same because vampires look pretty similar. Yeah. People. But some of the monsters I reckon yeah. would look quite funny as humans. So yeah, gonna um, watch that in the morning and then eBay in the afternoon tomorrow and maybe as I say I will get some filming done tomorrow, even if it's just a few videos. I said to Nathan tonight I might do an ASMR live stream on the other channel because I haven't done one for ages <clears throat> and I haven't put any video on anything today on that channel so we'll see if he's playing his game on TV downstairs. I can just sit and uh, do a lot like a late night stream. But once again, that is if I can be bothered. <laughs> um, it's really difficult though with live streams because you do have to be like on it. You know, you've got to have that personality. You've got to chat with people. And, you know, sometimes I'm in the mood for that and sometimes I'm just not. I'm just quite like an introvert and just want to kind of sit in with my book and not have to talk to people. But other times I just like sitting online and, and just doing my shows and chatting with people. So it, it just literally depends on how I feel tonight. And also health-wise, um, how I'm feeling as well. So maybe there'll be a show, maybe there won't. I don't know. If I do do a show, of course, I'll update you on here. Ugh. Right, okay. I'm going to eat some chocolate and do some more reading. I'm now on page... I'm storming through this book, actually. 157. I can't remember what I was on before. <laughs> but I'm at 157 now. It's really good, yeah. I've got about that much left. So I'll definitely get this done today. I think it's 10 to 6 time wise um I keep doing that all the time and it's really annoying me and I know why I'm doing it it's because of Pippa I watch Worms Eye View videos every day and um I don't know if she notices that she does this but she goes <laughs> when she's thinking of something like I go hmm no what well, I say something all the time as well and I can't remember what it is hmm um yeah I say um all the time um um but she goes, and she's thinking about something. And I think because I watch her so much on the videos, it's becoming part of my vocabulary. Um, there's my um. <laughs> but I also keep, when I'm thinking about something, I'll be going, Err. and I've noticed I've done that in the last week. So I, I blame Pippa. But I did actually just watch her video. Um, oh, now I'm thinking about saying erm all the time. I just watched her video while I was eating my mash. I watched her and her sister. Her sister's really cool as well, actually. She seems really nice. And she, yeah, they got on this, like, walk, like this trek of the Thames. I don't know if it's the Thames as in the Thames. Am I just stupid? Do they get the Thames up there? Yeah, or is the Thames, Thames only in our bit? No, the Thames is a very long walk. Nathan's like, oh, my God, do I actually know this person? Honestly, I didn't know. I thought the Thames was just in London. No. Okay. Maybe it is the Thames then. It's a Thames walk or something. Yeah. But it was really good. Like they were showing all the beautiful trees and oh, such really, really nice trees. And they were hugging trees, which is something that I like to do because I'm a bit of a hippie at heart. Um, so yeah, it was really good. And then they were having lots of giggles at the end and her sister started like crying because she was laughing so much. And I was like, that's really cute. It's quite funny. And they went for dinner in this pub and... Um, their meals looked amazing, especially the dessert. Oof. And her sister had on this most beautiful sparkly purple top. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but anyway, she did. And it was like, oh my God, wow, what a top. It was so sparkly. It literally looked like it was made out of diamonds or something. I know it wasn't, but it was really nice. Nice top. I'm such a girl. Oh, it's a nice top. But it was. Um, so yeah, I watched that. Tonight I'll probably... Uh, watch another... I like to watch YouTube videos as I eat my dinner, which sounds a bit odd. But it's true. I think a few people do that, do they? Maybe not, I don't know. But I've watched Pippa's video now. So unless she's got a new video today, uh, it, oh, I'm doing it again. Like, uh, <laughs> um, if not, I think I've got a video from, well, I've got a couple to watch. I've got Pages with Paige. She's got a new video. And Kit Kats can read as well. So my nails just broke. Mm. So yeah, I just like a little something on while I eat, really. I don't know why, it just comforts me. So relaxing to watch something because I eat. Unless Nathan's got something on the TV, which is a show that I like. 
you know, in the background. Like sometimes we have, um, what's his name, Michael Portillo on, on his train journeys. And they're, because they're quite relaxing and calming, I like watching those in the background. But anyway, I'm boring you, sorry. <laughs> I've put my hat back on, by the way. I know I'm indoors, which is a bit odd, but I was just feeling a bit cold. So I just put my hat on, like you do. So I am going to shut up now. You'll be pleased to know. Nathan will be pleased to know. Oi, don't nod. Cheeky. So I'm going to shut up. Stop it. <laughs> and literally just sit and read and try and get this book done if I can. There's quite a few pages left, but I'm, it's quite a big font as well. And they're really short chapters, so I might be able to get it done. Uh, and then, yeah, we we'll go down and watch. Well, I'll watch The Masked Singer because I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Who's going to go out this week? So anyway, see you in a bit. I've just finished reading The Thicket. I ended up giving it three stars on Goodreads. I would have given it a three and a half, but they don't do half points. And I wasn't going to give it a four, so I went for a three. It was good. Like, it was good. It was enjoyable. It was a bit like a kind of slasher film in a book. Um, some of it was quite dark, but then it got a little bit silly and a bit, mm, I don't know. So, yeah, it was a good ending, though. I have to be honest, good ending. So, yeah, overall, a three stars for me for this one. And now I'm going to start this one. I've had a proper lazy afternoon reading. And you know what? I, I do kind of feel guilty that I didn't get any filming done and stuff. But I don't feel that guilty. It's the weekend. Um, so this is The Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont. This is the Waterstones exclusive signed edition. Look at this sprayed edge. Oh, wow. Looks so nice. I love sprayed edges on books. Lovely. Uh, so I've got to be really careful with this one because I'm going to be putting it on eBay. So, yeah, loving the cover as well. Very, very nice. Oh, there's a quote from uh, Lisbeth McNeil. I was enthralled. This is a book which has it all. Well, there you go. That's a good start. Um, she did, what was it? Circus of Wonders. I love that book. So it says, in 1926, Agatha Christie disappeared for 11 days. Only I know the truth of her disappearance. I'm no Hercule Poirot. I'm her husband's mistress. No, no, no. Naughty, naughty. Agatha Christie's world is one of glamorous society parties, country house weekends, and growing... I oh, still can't say that word. Literary. Literary fame. Uh, Nan O'Dear's world is something very different. Her attempts to escape a tough London upbringing during the Great War lead to a life in Ireland marred by a hidden tragedy. 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 I can't talk today. After fighting her way back to England, she set her sights on Agatha because Agatha, Agatha Christie has something Nan wants and it's not just her husband. Full of twists, turns, Christie herself would be proud of. <laughs> uh, this compelling novel is not only a stunning reimagining of a real-life mystery, but also a profoundly moving tale of two complex women, lo lost loves and hidden grief. So, yeah. Oh, it's bright red underneath the book. But yeah, I think it sounds intriguing and I've been like getting into my Agatha Christie since like Christmas time when I read uh, Hercule Poirot's Christmas. That was really good. And yeah, I just think it sounds really interesting and oh yeah, I think it's be good. And it is a true story. Agatha Christie did go missing. I think she ended up being in just like a spa or something. She found out her husband was doing the dodgy and she just went away. I think that she told her brother, but no one asked her brother. And there was like a nationwide search for and stuff. It was all a bit mad. Look it up on Google if you don't believe me. It happened. Uh, so yeah, this is my next read. So I'm only going to read for a little while because I do want to rest my eyes for a little bit. And then Mars Singer is on soon. And I'm going to do my dinner and stuff. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, Ma, do you want your dinner? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> She's like, stop doing that stupid voice. You going to your sticker? Ah, uh, that's nice. Right, I'm going to get your flakes. We are just getting our dinners ready. I'm having vegan steak slices, so I'm not going to show them because you see them every single vlog pretty much. But this is different. Nate oh, God, it's right there. Nathan is having McCain's Street Fries barbecue beef. They look nice. They are nice. And char-grilled chicken. Two original char-grilled ch chicken. So you've got chicken and barbecue beef chips enjoy okay so nathan's got his switch he's playing his game and i i'm just about to watch you the master and i'm just gonna go it's that person <laughs> you just don't person. care who it is it, really it never is the person i say it is no 
But you guess better than the judges guess. <laughs> no, because they eventually get it right. Well, one of them does. Well, hmm. But yes, I'm just about to watch The Masked Singer. Okay, so I thought I would say goodnight now. I still am unsure if I'm going to do a live stream. It is quarter to 11, um, but I don't mind doing later streams sometimes because then people in America watch more. But we shall see. I have to go up and get my phone charger, I think, because it needs charging again. I haven't charged it before. Um, but yeah, watch The Masked Singer. Oh my God, that was such a disappointment. Like, seriously. He ended up being the lead singer of Keen. And you're probably like, who? And I'm like, yeah, exactly. I don't even know his name. I remember the song they did. Somewhere only we know. But I did not... When he took off the mask, I was like, huh? We were like, what was that? Anyway, so... That was a bit of a disappointment, actually. I thought it was going to be someone a bit more well-known <laughs> than the lead singer of an old emo -y rock band, indie band, from years and years ago. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm just going to sit and read for a bit. Um... I'm really liking this one. It is good. I'm about 20 pages in or whatever, and it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. And also, I wanted to show you this. If I show you there. This is amazing. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Uh, it's called Foot Magic with vitamin E in it. And it's really, really good. Without going into too much detail, my feeties have been quite dry, like rough and dry skin. And, like, I kept doing the uh, Petty Pro thing that I've got and putting my moisturizer cream on and it just wasn't doing anything it's just getting rough every day again but I've tried this and it's still a little bit rough but it's definitely a bit of an improvement as well it's made it a lot softer so yeah I thought I would show you that it's got vitamin E in it and it says deeply moisturizes rough dry skin it, oh it's got mango butter and peppermint oil in it so yeah I'm just gonna keep putting that on and stuff because it's horrible having dry feet. Anyway, on that note, I will say goodnight. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, hello, hello. It is Sunday morning. Um, the time is 5 to 11. I woke up about an hour ago, but um, I've just been like laying in bed. I was on my phone for a while, just flicking through like social media and stuff. And then I turned on the little bedside lamp and had a little read. Uh, which was really good. I love that book so much. The Christie Affair. It's so good. Like, it's really touching me. Like, I love it so much. Um, I spoke with Kate, who is Mini Book Chats. And she's a fellow bookworm and a, a booktuber. Check out her channel. She's lovely. But anyway, she'd read that book and didn't particularly like it. She it was just like, okay. Uh, it wasn't for her. But I have to be honest, like, I am just loving it. Like, I'm like, wow, this book is just amazing it's really got me um so yeah i've got up now mum's gone out shopping and i'm just gonna sit down here and have some breakfast nathan's still asleep at the moment um so i'll probably have some breakfast watch a bit of tv or whatever and then go and wake him up wake up nathan <laughs> um because i want to watch uh, hotel transylvania on amazon uh, we've got to get Netflix back. Uh, we haven't got any Netflix at the moment because our vouchers run out. We get this thing where we buy like a voucher and it lasts for like three months and it's run out. Uh, but there's nothing overly that we want to see on Netflix at the moment. So it's like, mm, no rush getting it now. But we do want it for February, um, especially me, because uh, apparently One of Us is Lying, which is a book that I read and love by Karen uh, McManus. It's going to be coming to Netflix in February. So I definitely want to see that. And there's normally like romantic kind of Valentine's-y stuff in there. So yeah, we're going to just get that when we get paid, I think, the next three months. Oh, so I've got loads of sleep in my eye. Mm. Um, I didn't have a great sleep. I had some weird, weird-ass dreams. Whew, I don't, I don't really remember all of it, but I know they were weird. Um... And one of my dreams involved our shed in the garden, which was really creepy. Um, I dreamt there was a war. I know that. And there was all explosions. Then I dreamt there was going to be aliens coming down and they were going to take over. And Yeah, it was really weird, weird dreams. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just going to go do some uh, bran flakes. Nice bit of uh, good cereal for breakfast. 
just seen a note left by my mum. Please put wash into tumble on number 14. Okay, so that's got it all going there. <sighs> Come on. Oh, whenever washing is like really wet like this, it's so heavy. <laughs> then I've got to put it all in it. <laughs> in you go. In you go. A couple of socks left. <laughs> Is it 14? Okay. Whoop. There we go. It's on. Mm, dishwasher's got to be done as well. It's a hard knock life for me. It's a hard knock life for me. So many chores to do. Even though I only woke up a little while ago. It doesn't rhyme. It's a hard knock life. It is Sunday cinema time. Hotel Transylvania 4. And it's, what is it? Transformania. Yeah. So the monsters turn into humans or something. Uh, uh, yeah. So we're going to watch this now. And hopefully it's good. Thought I'd update you about Hotel Transylvania. Oh my God. It was so bad. It was really bad. It was really bad. It's an oath and a grace. Really, really bad. Yeah, we've watched all the Hotel Transylvania films together, I think. Yes, we have. Yeah, and we've enjoyed them, yeah. especially me, because <laughs> I'm a big kid. But yeah, we like them. However, this one, it started. The thing is, right, it started off good. Like the first ten minutes was quite funny, quite cute. I love Jack. Who is it? Adam Sandler. Um, and I don't know. After ten minutes, it just went downhill. Yeah. It was just silly, wasn't it? Very childish, very silly, uh, just, just not funny, just annoying actually. I thought it was quite annoying. Yeah. I found myself getting quite irritated by it. So I looked over at him, he looked over at me and I was like, I'm not enjoying this, are you? And he's like, no, so I should turn it off. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and that was it, it was off. So that was sad, but um, we ended up watching um, some YouTube videos and just chatting and cuddling up. Cuddling up in bed and just being lazy, which is nice because it's Sunday. I just had a shower so my hair is soaking wet. I'm thinking I'm just going to let it dry naturally. I'm not going to go out today. Um, I was going to go to the shop, but I just don't need anything. Nathan doesn't need anything. Mum's already been out to a shop, so it's like, mm, I do. Huh? Nobody needs I do like to go out every day, just get a bit of exercise, fresh air, but I could just stand in the garden for a little while if I want a bit of fresh air, because there's just nothing I need. And I'm going out tomorrow, I'm back at work tomorrow in the morning, and I'm going to try and go to a charity shop in town to look for some eBay stuff. I've got a nip to Sainsbury's as well, so I'll be busy and stuff tomorrow, so I thought just today I'm going to be lazy. Because so. you've got eBay today. Yeah, I've got my eBay work to do in a couple of hours-ish, or just over a couple of hours I haven't got as much to put on this week, but the good thing is, so far so good, the bids this week are looking good. Um, looks like I've made a bit of profit on certain things that I've bought, so that's good. Yay! But um, yeah, so I'm doing my eBay today. I'm going to turn the laptop on, laptop on in a minute, do some e <laughs> What's that face? That was you. You've done a funny that's face. Up your words. You take the mix, I messed up my words. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some, not eBay, youtube -y stuff. I've got to put my uh, video on the ASMR channel, set that up for tonight as like um, a scheduled video to go on live tonight. Because uh, I was putting on ASMR videos in the morning, trying all different times to get better views, and it just doesn't work in the morning and the afternoon. So I'm going to go back to just putting them on late at night, it's UK pink, time. Pink again, right? It's a nice pink planet. Nathan's just turned the expert X can't talk today. Xbox back on. Can I show him the pink planet? Pink planet. There it is. It's cool. That's my favourite. Has it got a name or is it just pink planet? It's YS1741. Okay. It's actually a star. But... It looks like planet to yeah. me. But yeah, so I'm going to do YouTube stuff, set my videos up and stuff. But yeah, I was just saying, I was putting them on earlier and it just doesn't work. So I'm just going to go back to put them on late at night I think it's better but yeah and then I've got a, a vlog for this channel to put public I'll probably do that as a premiere because it's quite a long video 
and it's no point in doing premieres if the video is like 10 minutes because it's pointless. It takes 15 minutes for YouTube to send out any notifications. So if it's a longer video, I do do it normally as a premiere. So I'll set that up, do the other video, set that up, put all the tags in and all that jazz. So that'll take me a little while. Um, and yeah, just going to chill for a bit. I've got my book, which I'm really loving. I've already said this before, but I really am loving The Christie Affair. So good. So I'll get back to that. And then eBay work. And yeah. Oh, really quickly. I was going to say, I completely forgot yesterday. Um, you know, I bought the rock painting kit. I completely forgot to say why I was getting it. I said I'd tell you, and I, I didn't. I think I forgot. So really quickly, it's um, for Thursday. This week, uh, Thursday the 27th, is Holocaust, rem sorry, Holocaust Memorial Remembrance Day. There we go. Um, so it's a very important day. And um, I just wanted to do like some special things for that day to... You know, obviously celebrate people's freedom of them um, coming out, but also to, you know, remember the people who did lose their lives and the horrible atrocities that they were put through. And yeah, it's horrible. So Thursday's vlog will be kind of centered around that. I want to do a few different things on Thursday um, out of respect for the, the Memorial Remembrance Day. And one of the things I want to do is rock painting, basically. So I've got that kit and on Thursday I'll vlog it. I will uh, do some painting of some rocks. So I'm no good at anything arts and crafts. So God knows how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to try. I'm thinking just that I may be like Stars David's on it. Like blue and gold, blue and white. Um, I don't know what other designs I could do. Maybe like hearts and things. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. So yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm also going to go to somewhere in South End where they are plant in a uh, tree they, apparently they do it every year but it's the first year that I've ever been so I'm going to go down there hopefully try and get some footage if I don't get in trouble I had to move position because my arm was hurting yeah so hopefully try and um just get some footage of you know them people uh I don't know who they are they're people from like the council and members of the Jewish community are going whether the rabbi the local rabbi will be there or not I don't know should be really but um, yeah, so that's Thursday. I'm also going to go and get myself a plant and put it in the garden. So that would be nice. And um, I've got like uh, some books that I'm going to show in the video. So yeah, basically Thursday is the Memorial Day and I want to do like my own thing that day and kind of celebrate. No, it's, it is celebrating, but it's not. It's celebrating people's freedom and them getting liberated, obviously. But it's also, as I say, a memorial. So it's quite a sad, a sad day as well. Um but anyway, so I just want to kind of do my own thing for that day. So, yeah, that's why I got the rock painting. So, wish me luck for my arts and crafts that day. Because I'm not very good at it. But anyways, so, as I say, now I'm just going to do my YouTube stuff. And then read and then do eBay. Just doing a premiere on this channel. This is a vlog. So, I've done all the tags, put it public, etc. Now I'm premiering it. I've also put a video on for tonight, scheduled that to go on about 10 o'clock on the ASMR channel. So, the title of this video, I mean, I've gone all out. Vlog Mum moaning about toilet roll. <laughs> Nathan goes to the barbers and haunted printer in work. I mean, yeah, it's. I try and think of original fun titles, it's not easy. Sometimes I just put vlog, spend a day with me, but other times I think, oh, maybe I need to put stuff in, but we'll see. <laughs> um, apparently there's just me at the moment. Just, just look, hello. <laughs> there's no one there. Come on, people. Oh, no, people are joining. Wow, people are joining. Um, I never know what time to do these premieres. You know, it's only 10 to 4 in the afternoon, but it is Sunday afternoon. So I thought, you know, people might be really bored sitting around. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe there's paint to watch dry. All more people are coming in. Come on, people. Come on. It's really embarrassing, like, when you're doing a premiere and just, like, no one talks to you. Actually, no, it's worse when I'm doing a live stream. Because it's different with this, I suppose, because they can't actually see me. I've just typed hello. They're not seeing my embarrassment. But when I'm on a live stream, I'm like, hi, everyone, and there's no one there. You just feel like a complete idiot talking to yourself. But anyway, so I'm going to just sit here and let this play in the background, talk to people if they talk to me. If they don't, they don't. And, you know, it's such a shame because when people are at video premieres, it, it makes it more fun. Like, 
people enjoy watching it and you chat along about the things that are in the video and or just chat about everyday stuff like oh what you've been up to and it's just nice but alas it's just me with my little minxy emojis um let's have a look what we've we got here got this one got that one you've already seen that's me with pokemon you can't really see these they're so small in here but anyway i have little different minxy emojis for members uh there's me oh hold on there's the reading one. Oh, my mouse doesn't work there it is <laughs> you can see the little i'm reading one anyway i'll send that not that anyone's there to look at it still. but anyway so i'm gonna sit here and get this done and then i'll just yeah i'll read probably while this is on because it's clearly no one to chat with <laughs> um how long have i got ten to four Four to five, five to six. Mm, got about two hours till I start my eBay. It's not going to take too long, I don't think. The eBay, there's not that much, but I always say that, and it still seems to take ages. Oh, I need to charge my laptop. The battery is dying. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I just did the premiere, and I am doing my notes and stuff for a video that I'm going to do in a minute because, as I say, I'm doing the whole kind of Holocaust Memorial Day video on Thursday. I'm going to vlog throughout the day and do different things and stuff. Um, so I'm also doing a separate video with books that I can recommend, like Holocaust-themed uh, books. So I just wanted to kind of get some information and, and read out some facts and stuff. So I'm in the middle of doing that, and I've gone on various websites, including this one here, which is the uh, UK Holocaust Memorial website. And I've just signed myself up for the ceremony. If it's so, uh, yeah, hold on, twenty uh, seventh. There we go. So yeah, I've just registered. I had to give my email and stuff, and it's on uh, seven p.m. to eight p.m. So it says, uh, "Get ready to light the darkness with us." So I'm going to watch that. So I don't know. I assume there'll be, you know, people talking, and I don't know. I don't know until I watch it. But I've I've signed up. It's only for an hour, so I can just sit and watch it. No doubt I'll be getting a big box of tissues and crying my eyes out. But I think it's important, as I said to Nathan, yes, you know, reading about all this stuff and that it is very upsetting. But I think it's important that we never forget what happened and we keep educating and stuff. So, yeah, I'll sit and cry. But I know that it's, it's you know, for a good cause. And um, also I've done my picture here. So basically what you want to do if you want to join in, you have to uh, get a piece of paper and just write on it we remember or hashtag we remember and then show you your picture of you holding the bit of paper with hashtag we remember on all your social media uh, with that hashtag so i've done that um i've got a poem that i'm going to read out i've got the books that i got from the library that i'm going to show in this video now and also I recommend some other like fiction themed holocaust themed books as well so yeah basically i'm going to go and film now and then I'm going to come back. I'll have a little bit of time to just chill and read. And then it's eBay work time. Okay, so I'm just putting on my eBay stuff. But I'm a bit peed off with myself. A few uh, little disasters this week, which is annoying. Um, obviously a waste of money. But there it is. So first of all, my disaster is this uh, little collectible car it's a 007 james bond and i thought oh that's a bargain people collect all the james bond stuff and then when i looked inside i don't know if you can see here but basically the front passenger seat is broke um there is a little man in there driving it so that's all right but the yeah it's broke basically it's probably why it was given away <laughs> i should check these things more um i, I did check it but I didn't see in there until I took the photo of it. But anyway, also a disaster. These books, I paid £1.50 for these. And I was like, oh, they're good for £1.50. Uh, Chuggington books. And yeah, basically, I didn't realise that it had stickers inside. I thought they were just, you know, kids' books. And then when I've looked, <laughs> it's like, oh, all the stickers have been used and stuff. So I can't, I can't sell them like that. So they're going to have to be like gifted to charity. And next up, next disaster. Oh yeah, there's more than two. Is this colouring book, which is uh, the official Game of Thrones colouring book. And I was in the shop and I quickly looked through it like this. And I was like, oh cool, you know, nothing's been coloured. Obviously someone's bought it and just not want it. Um, 
until I thought I just a double check just in case and I saw I don't know where it's going to be now but basically some of them have been colored in but they're right near the back so like they've obviously missed most of them I'm not going to find it now here we go yeah they've missed kind of most of them and then they've gone right to like near the back and randomly colored in a bit of this one and just like left it um so yeah I can't I can't sell that obviously with one sheet colored that's just no good so yeah that's a little bit frustrating um i'm just putting on these books i hate it when they put the stickers over them it just like ruins the cover why are you ruining it? oh no i literally just ruined that cover oh god i'm not having a good time here the rest of them are all right though so i'll just have to put that on as an honest picture but yeah there's like a whole set of um the Secret Seven by Enid Blyton books. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, it's because they put them stupid stickers on, and to get the sticker off, I've ripped it a bit. But as long as I put it honestly, then here's what it is. The others haven't got that. The others are fine. Just checking. Yeah, the others are fine. So, oh, it's just a bit stressful, to be fair. But anyway, I'm going to just get things done as quick as I can. Veg is in the steamer, veg is in the steamer. I've got no cabbage, there is no cabbage now. Um, but there is broccoli and there is cauliflower, so they are in the steamer. I was going to have these meat-free sausages, but I can't see. That looks like it's out of date. 07th of January. That's yeah, out of date, isn't it? That's what I thought. My mum was like, I'll have them sausages in the fridge, they'll be alright. They're out of date. I wanted something like, I don't know, vegetarian, like meaty. I mean, I've got the actual Richmond sausages there. How do you cook these? Are they oven? Uh, oven, 18 minutes. But Nathan is using the oven, and also my veg take ages, so. I've got here, Aunt Bess's meat free toad in the hole. And it's going to go in the oven as well. Okay, just check with Nathan and his dinner will be finished by the time I can put this in. So um, that's cool. So it will work out basically the right time. I can have this uh, going in the oven and then my veg will still be like in the steamer doing its thing. So I'll pop that back in there for now. I just fancied something with like meat. Well, not real meat, fake meat, not just, you know, veg. Um, hopefully we've got enough gravy. Gravy. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right, so that's all good. God, it looks terrible. Um, eBay's all done. Um, you know, I showed you that 007 car that I'd messed up with because it was broke in the front little bit. It's all good. It's going to a nice house. It's going to the lovely Pippa, well, her husband, Lee. Uh, he collects little cars and things. So um, I messaged her on Facebook and I was like, does Lee want this? Because I'm just going to give it to charity otherwise. And I said it was a little bit broken, but you can't really see. But if I was to sell it, I'd get complaints kind of thing. Um, she was like, yes, he was. He, he said yes. So I'm going to send that to them in the week. Um, oh, I keep doing that all the time. Um, so, yeah, now we, well, Nathan's just looking on Sky Planner just to see what stuff we've got planned like on the planner. I know he's got, what is it, that Victor guy? Expedition Deep Ocean. Expedition Deep Ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Good old Victor. Victor, is this who is he? He's like he's an a explorer, millionaire, billionaire, um, ex navy explorer man who's going to the deepest point on each of the six oceans. Deepest point in the six oceans, and they go in this tiny little like submarine -y thing. I don't know what it is. There's always got something wrong with yeah, it. there's always something wrong with it. Every single episode, I, I kind of look up on the slide to see what's happening. Every episode, something goes wrong with this thing. <laughs> it gets out a lot. I think they do it just for a bit of added drama. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to watch, well, he's going to watch that, but first of all, we're going to watch, in a minute, yeah. Jack, Jack Osborne and Sharon Ozzy with, oh, I can't remember the name of it, 
Oh, the Osborns. I want to believe. I want to believe. See, Nathan has the memory in this relationship. I am no good. So, yeah, we're going to watch that. They basically play paranormal clips and they all decide if they think they're really creepy or if they're fake. or It's just a funny show and you get to see a bit of paranormal stuff. And sometimes the uh, clips are really, really good and scary. Other times, you know, they just look a bit silly. Oh, you know what I've got to do? Because I remembered, like a good girl, I've got to do my saline salt spray to clear and cleanse my sinuses. I'm really red in the face. I don't actually feel like hot on my face, but it looks really red. But it is really hot in here. I've just turned the heating off and it's sweating. My mum made us put like the central heating on. It's just too hot. So give it a shake. So you're only allowed to use this for a month on opening. So I should write a little sticker on it later or tomorrow to say when I opened it. When did you open it yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. So you just basically squirt twice up each nostril. Right, okay. Oh! 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 I have to blow my nose now. So I've seen a bit. Okay, this is a terrible angle. Look at that. Double chin there. Oh well. Um. I had my dinner. I've got a Pepsi Max here. Actually, I'll put that down. Actually, I'll hold this up. Woo, look, double chin's gone. Double chin. Gone. Have I got food around my mouth? Anyway, so that is the end of the video. <laughs> we watched the Osbournes. Very, very good. Very funny. Uh, funny. And Jack's dog, who's called Doug... Yeah. Adorable. Um, yeah, it's good Good evidence. Some of it was really good. There was this little boy in a mirror I thought was the best clip uh, with his dad. They were in some, I don't know where, hotel or something. And there was this big yeah. mirror and, yeah, the dad was taking a photo of the, the little boy the looking video, in the yeah. mirror. Video. And then as the boy walks away, there's a face there. It's really creepy because you can see there's no one standing in front of the mirror. Anyway, yeah, it was good. A few ufo -y ones as well. So yeah, that was good. I had my dinner, so that was nice. Um, I did overcook the toad in the hole. Vegan, vegetarian actually. Uh, toad in the hole. I did burn it a little bit. So on the sides it had gone a bit brown and burnt. So that wasn't great. But the middle bit was nice and the sausages were nice. But they were a bit, I don't know, they were a bit spicy. A bit like, what's that stuff we had at Christmas? Stuffing. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the them ones in the uh, toad in the hole. hole got herbs in, I think they're like Lincoln yeah. sausages. Yeah, they're a bit... Yeah, they're Lincolnshire sausages, not normal ones. But yeah, they're all right. At least it's a bit of meat, mm. kind yeah. of fake meat. <coughs> so yeah, had that. Now I'm just literally going to sit and read, um, where is my book? The Christie Affair. I've put it on eBay now, so hopefully there'll be bids. I'm currently on page 73, so I'm not halfway yet. Not anywhere near halfway, really. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to carry on reading. Nathan's got his show on, which is called Pacific Ocean, World's Deepest. Is that right? That's no, called? that's the episode. Five. Oh, that's the episode, sorry. Victor's on. Do you want to see Victor? Let me show you Victor quick. Victor! There he is. So he's this rich explorer. Ex-Navy. Ex-Navy guy. And yeah, he's had a bit of drama already in this episode, which was expected, so... Anyway, he's halfway through it, so I'm going to shut up and let him watch it <laughs> and say goodnight, just leave you with Victor, and say goodnight to you all. Thank you for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell to all notifications. Also, check out my ASMR channel, which is Minxlaw123 ASMR. Also, check out Minxlaw123 Shorts. And follow me on Twitter at Minxlaw123. Follow me on Instagram, Minxlaw123. And tickly TikTok, TikTok, tick at Minxlaw123 ASMR. And I don't know, but I have got a Goodreads page, but I don't know the link off my off my heart, but it is down below. So come follow me on Goodreads. I think that's it. That is it. Oh, I've got to turn that blooming top light on. I for, keep forgetting. I can't read without that one on. Um, so it's good night from me. Oh, come on. One day you'll do it. And it's good night from him. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.